Thousands of nursing students are graduating this spring. While nothing could prepare them for entering the workforce during a pandemic, many are still rising to the challenge. This year's nursing school graduates will be entering the workforce in one of the most difficult periods the profession has seen in recent times. I don't think there's a time that could prepare us for it because, I mean, no one's really been prepared for it. Julia Wilbur just graduated from Carroll College. She's taken a job at a Washington, D.C. hospital. D.C. has become an emerging epicenter for COVID-19 with continual growth in daily cases and deaths. It can be difficult and worrisome to think about at times, but at the same time, like I have spent the last three years, three to four years, like gathering all these skills to be able to help. So I would rather use my skills to be a helpful person instead of being letting fear kind of hold me back. Patients and their families depend on nurses to be pillars of strength and guidance during difficult times. But it can be very difficult to prepare a student to be ready to take on that kind of load. But ultimately, nurses just want to help those in need. Nursing is more than just a job. It is a calling. Maria Bronson is an associate nursing professor at Carroll College. Educators work to give future nurses not just the knowledge needed to care and treat patients, but also to take care of themselves. I think it's a very stressful time. And one thing that we try to do with our graduates is to help them build the skills and techniques to maintain good self. Bronson says they discuss the importance of regular sleep, a healthy diet, self-reflection, and faith. Skills that have become increasingly important with nurses and nursing students across all experience levels. Like Helena College junior Ashley Levine, who is working as a nursing assistant during the pandemic. Levine says the whole experience has made her a better nurse and not once thought about throwing in the towel. When you work in healthcare, the job never really ends. I don't have any, you know, underlining conditions that would stop me from working. So I was like, if they need the help, I'm, I'm ready to help. Andy Curtis and John Riley for MTN.